Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fallout 3 with yours truly the Hermit Hood. How you guys all left it doing today? Alright, so last episode I left you guys off here at the Crater Side Supply where Moira Brown, she requested our assistance in her book. Let's see here. Uh, the Wasteland Survival Guide. Become seriously injured 50% health or less. Optional is to require a crippling injury. What we want to do guys is we want to first off We're going to continue down this route for her for the Wasteland Survival Guide She's kind of working on a little bit of a book, you know to help others out and for some apparent reason She just wants us to well do the strangest things in the world such as drinking radioactive water and all that other stuff this is a video game, so please do not do any of this stuff in real life. It's, you know, it's just, it's a, it's just a game, guys. Please, it, it's just a game. So, in order to do this, the best way that I find out to do this is to find the highest spots right here in this spot. And I think it's, like, right in here. Um, we want to kind of, like, get up on top of one of these. And it's tr just trying to get up on the rail. And just like, if we can, if can we get up on the rail, please? Okay, well that one was maybe a little bit too high. Um, <laughs> well, we don't want that to happen, but uh, yeah, we do want to kind of... Uh, completed, receive a crippling injury. Uh, that didn't quite exactly work out the way I expected. Okay, nope, that didn't work out. <laughs> we want to, I, I think we're going to try to land on that bridge. Um, yeah, that didn't work out quite the way I expected. Alright, um, let's try to land over there on that thing. Can we do that? Nope, alright. Alright, let's reload. Alright, let's load. This one, yeah. Alright, and let's try this again. Receive a crippling injury. Okay, um, we do want to land on that, but we don't want to, like, uh... Alright. We did become seriously injured. But we didn't exactly quite go the whole way on it. Okay. Alright, that's not high enough. Atom, my All right, let's go and uh <laughs> let's try this maybe from about here. Nope. Okay. Alright, let's try this in another spot. Can we do this? Let's try it from like maybe up a little bit higher. Alright, right about right here maybe. Alright, let's try this. Okay, yes! Alright, that should give me it. Alright, alright, yes, yes, yes. Alright, that should give us our, our mission. We got the mission completed right there. It just took a little bit of time, but we got it. Alright, so let's get up here. Let's go see Moira. And this should give us an extra perk, if I'm correct. So when you click Billy Creel, how you doing? Hey, Moira! You know, I think I've found a new way to prepare rad roach meat. Still tastes like old feet, though. Anyway, what's up with you? Doc, uh, let's talk about this serious injury. Well, how do you feel? This really hurts, you know. Oh, I know it does, dear, but it's for a good cause. Uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? And remember, this is for posterity. Um, pain's an abstract. Just to focus on definable things like survival. Um, personal experience. Ouch! Think of yourself sitting on a table, screaming, ah! 
Alright, <laughs> the adrenaline helps suitors of fear or death. There's a little of both, but the intelligence will go that route. That's a very enlightened attitude you've got. Shame it doesn't stop bullets, huh? <laughs> Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Ugh, how can you be walking around like this? That's my real life leg. Okay. I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep up your spirits. It's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. Okay, um, we got an environmental suit, but we didn't get a perk from it. Okay, what's the, the second chapter? Uh-oh. We haven't even got to the third yet. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. <laughs> There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? I think I'll do the Mire... No, 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 not the Mirelurks, not just yet. I want to get some more stim packs for that one. But the mole rats sounds like fun. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. Um... Okay, so... All right. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator, and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Okay, so we gotta head down to the town to the tepid sewers. All right, and we're definitely gonna do the ten or more Mole rats. Okay. Um, we have to go. Now. Have fun out there, okay? All right. So let me see this environmental suit. What is this? Um, ooh, medicine plus five and rad resistance plus thirty. That has a dr of six. Huh. But this thing helps my energy weapons. I think I'm going to, uh... Mm. Well, I do have... I don't have a way of repairing that. Um, all I can do is ask people to repair it for me. Alright, so where is this place at? Let's head down to the data. Let's see where we had to go. we got to go over here. So, Wilms Wharf. Alright. Let's head down over to Wil Wilma's Wharf. And I guess we're going to walk our way there. And... <laughs> yeah, Wilma se seems like a really nice person. Um, the last time I was over here, I didn't quite expect it. But, eh, I think we'll be okay. All right, so do we got to cross the bridge to get to this one? Let's see. Uh, yeah, we got to cross this yay bridge, and we're gonna need items, weapons. It looks like we're gonna need this. Right there. This should be interesting. Um, yeah, very interesting. Bridge loaded with landmines that should be able to. Ouch! Did that just set them all off? It looked like it did. Okay, well, that's fine. We're good. That would have been a nice way of gaining XP, but. Alright, guys, here goes the stick. You guys, can you guys see that thing there? 
Is this the is this the uh, tepid sewers? Is this the tepid sewers? I can't tell. Or is it over that way? Huh. I can't hit M to bring up my map, so let's bring this thing up and let's look. Alright, this is the Anchorage Memorial, which means it's like right around the bend. It must be over there. Is something shooting at me? It's a centaur! Ooh, that means we got super mutants nearby. Okay, um, let's just kind of go up and get away from that thing. The Anchorage War Memorial. Cool. I don't mind looking inside of this. It's empty. Alright. Well, whatever. Haha. Alright, um, I'll take it all. Why not? But where we gotta go is over that way should be interesting. I think that's it right there. That takes you into the tepid sewers. Okay, we can do this. Let's go. Up oh, here it is. Alright guys, let's go test it out on some mole rats. Hello mole rats. Hey, how you doing? This is interesting. <laughs> is it me or do you guys see what that's doing to these mole rats? Um, I don't think her stick works very good, guys. Well, I think it works pretty good. Um, you're just not sure of what's inside. Right, what's inside of here? Right, just back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> oh boy, I love this thing. Alright, uh, we got some first aid in here. So that's pretty cool. I'm getting some rat away. Nothing inside of this, nothing inside of that. Alright, we gotta keep moving though. I'm gonna go ahead and jam a stim, stim pack up my butt. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's go to aid. Let's see here. Got a, uh... I hate how you can't cook food in this game. Really, I hate it. All right, um, stim pack. Here we are. We're good. Yeah, little mole ratty ratties. Huh. Okay. Well, it's a good place to take a look through uh, the stuff and things around here. We got a metro ticket. Cool. Darts and syringes. Anything on the table? Okay, those ones are dead. Why am I uh, jumpy on that? Okay. Never know. Never know. Alright, let's go. We gotta do this on more of them. Oh, this should be interesting. Okay, so let me go into my weapons here real quick. I'll take my laser rifle. My weasel. And we're going to go ahead and grab... You know what? Yeah. And we need to find some more of those things. Let's, let's just keep this thing out for right now. Oh, please tell me I didn't toast all the uh, mole rats. 
No! I needed to test them! There was just gas down here. Alright, um, alright. Got some blood packs in here. You guys will see why I'm keeping all of those. Alright, um, there's actually supposed to be something else down here. That's why I'm kind of, like, uh, working my way with this. A little bit easy. Um, I don't want that. I want my, uh, repellent stick. You know what? We gotta test this thing on some raiders. <laughs> this should be interesting. Alright, let's head up and around this way. Please tell me all the, uh... Please tell me not all the mole rats are dead. What is this shiny stuff on the floor? We wanted the mole rats! It looks like they're all dead. Why are all the mole rats dead? I want more! What happened here? Dang it! Had to shoot the gas. Alright, what's up here? Okay, it looks like there's something else in here. Oh, aha! <laughs> hey, buddy boy! Come on! Come on! Come on! Leveled up too. Awesome. All right. Um, uh, what is that? Twenty skill points. Nice. Um, take that to twenty-five. All right. Let's start doing this. All right. So we got a lot of things are below thirty, and we got fifteen. All right. I'm gonna go thirty. 30, 30, 30, and we got three more points, so I'm going to shove those into science. We can bring our explosives up to 35. No, let's bring science up to 40. Okay, that should bring us to this. Where we're going to gain an additional five points in this, or let's see here. I, I know I really want that child of cards. Um, I, I do. I really want this right here. Um, Swift learner, but that's 10% for experience points when experience points are earned. And we're at level six right now. We could really use this. Um, let me think here. Let me think here. Well, using a pistol, your gunslinger is always a good one, but that thing ranks as one. Fortune finder, nah, we're good. Bloody mess, we'll pass on that because we're on YouTube, um, as well as bit shoot. Um, ranks is three. I don't want anything that has three ranks. You do an additional 50% damage every time you attack a mutated insect like the rad roach, giant ant, or rad scorpion. Entomologist is something we are definitely going to require as we are going to be encountering a lot of mutated insects in the world like rad scorpions. And as you can see, a lot of our weapons are not doing a lot of damage to red scorpions at the moment or j the giant ants. So we're going to require this. Um, I want to come back to this child at heart. We'll see when we can do that. Uh, maybe we'll have to do that at another point in time. I also need to come back here and be able to do, uh, let me see here, Black Widow and let me see here. Anything that does not have 
anything that has a, a rank of one, okay, like, uh, let's see here, Gunslinger, that has a rank of one. Um, toughness, that has a rank of one. That's something else that we could use. Anything that has ranks of three, I want to stay away from those. So let's go ahead, let's hit A, and we should be good to go. Let's pull our stick out, let's have some more fun. Alright, so let's see. Need more ratty patatties. Hey, buddy boy, hey, hey. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. <laughs> Okay, um, sorry little mole rat, um, you are, you are awfully fun to play with, really, you are, um, I really don't mind these guys, what is this, still, um, can I get a screenshot of these mice, these mice, these guys, oh my goodness, yeah, let's not say we did, um, We'll have to get a different kind of screenshot. Um, what's down here? Nothing? Alright, let's see if we can find another door. There has to be more. Why is this all glossy? Yeah, there has to be another door around here. Let's keep looking. So this door comes up through here. Else can I find more mole rats? We got three in there. Aw, poor little dudes. Aw. Alright, well, that's okay. I really do like these mole rats. They're pretty funny. Alright, I might be able to get a screenshot of this guy, but that wall. Okay, let's see here. Um, if I do this, mow this, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, just leave that be. Um, crouch off. What's up here? Nothing. We've been through all of this. Most of this is blocked. We collected all of this. We need more mole rats. Where can we find more mole rats, guys? Turrets are taken down. Uh-oh. I think we're out of mole rats. Huh. I think there's some that hang out around the, um, out around, like, back up at the original base, up near Megaton. Yeah, I think there's some that hang out around Megaton. Let's go take a look at that. Let's go up to Data. Let's head up to Megaton. Hey, boy, do I breathe a lot easier knowing that thing is truly dead. And give me a moment, guys. Busy lately? Asking questions? Investigating? So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android <coughs> who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. I'd really like to know. I don't know, I just took a nap and came out here to finish my episode and you popped up out of the blue. So, Victoria Watts, why don't you hop on a train and go back to the Institute or wherever it is you came from and leave me alone. <laughs> well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions, no more searching. The movement I'm involved with, we help his kind escape their commonwealth imposed slavery. You realize we help them disappear. Right you understand? Well, uh, well, you really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll have saved a man's life. Um, why would I do that? Um, what's this movement you're talking about? We call ourselves 
the railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Yeah, um, I got a better idea. Um, I, I'm gonna wake up the android, and I'm gonna tell him everything, and he's going to go after and make sure Zimmerman never returns. So... Tell you what. You deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead, and you can consider yourself a member in good standing. Huh. Okay. Um... Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Of course. If you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Is there any better compensation? Sure. Yeah, there is. You know what you need to do. Um, AI should not exist. End of story. Let's go. Alright, so Welcome back to what we were to doing. Megaton. Oh, we were this away behind stay. Megaton. We could usually run into some mole rats sometimes. I don't know if we will or not. But they occasionally like to pop out of the ground. I don't know why. Sometimes, I don't know. I'm gonna look around over here, guys. I'm gonna see if I can find some. And speak of which, looks like there's one right over there right now. Let's go test our stick on it. There's a couple. There we go. Hey, there's a group of three. Works for me. Was that sufficient enough? I thought we took it all. Maybe we didn't. Did I leave meat on that one too? Or do we need to find another mole rat? Let's find out. Um, test the mole repellent on seven more ro mole rats. Really? Where else am I going to find another mole rat? Oh, oh ay caramba. Uh, you know, I guess I got to go sleep for three days and then walk back out here. Okie dokie. Um, there has to be more mole rats out here. Really, I mean, this is just three. I mean, I don't know where else you could find mole rats at apart from this dude that's chilling up here, the robot. Um, you literally gotta come out here and wipe out the NPCs that are in the area just to kinda... Just to get the respawn. Let's get up here and let's have some fun with this guy. Alright, um, he hello, how you doing? That'll give me some more energy cells. Alright, so let me go over here, guys. Let me take a nap and uh, I'll be back out here after three days and see if the mole rats respawn. Alright, guys, let's go see if our mole rats have returned. <laughs> Do, 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 do. And it looks like we got ourselves a new visitor outside, too. Who is it? Around. This is Crow. This is Crazy Wolfgang. He sells all the Welcome, junk. Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's traveling junk store. Ah, shut now. Up. Uh, tell me about. I scour. Yeah, I know. And I, always I know. Make I know. Sure That's to not make what my... I'm interested in. I know. I know. I know what you already sell. Um. What I'm interested Nothing in is seeing but the something highest else. Quality leftovers, all right, schematics for junk a rocket launcher. And um. Yeah, cr crazy wolf gang. He just sells a. He, he sells this stuff, and you kind of have to suck it up whenever you go to buy this, and you have to rebuy all the. Uh, the Kids, you can't 
you can't go back and forth with the guy. So whatever you buy this, you're, gonna, you're really just going to either lose out on money or you're going to have to be able to have enough ammo to sell it to him. I usually have enough ammo and stuff to sell to the guy to make up for all this, and I thought I'd put that away. Um, I'm going to leave him go for right now, and we'll come back to him at a later date. Let's go ahead, because we've got luck something else there. we want to finish and up. And maybe next time, you'll find right. something interesting for me, huh? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Crazy Wolf Game, we want to finish something up for right now. All right, we, we really just want to finish something some up. Drop. All right, is there any more mole rats around Megaton? That's what we want to see. Have they respawned? I went in there, I created new three three new compounds, took a nap. Uh-oh, it uh, don't look like it worked. I even, oh, yep, it did, here he comes. Here he comes, hey, come on, buddy boy, come on. Come on, hi-ya, hi, come on, hi-ya. Come on, hi -ya. Doesn't I think this thing loses effectiveness after a while? Oh my goodness! What the heck? All right. Um, is this item? Does it need repaired or something? No. All right. Um. I mean, this guy, this this little mole rat. I tell you what, he can pack a punch. All right. I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, this little mole rat. He can pack a punch. All right, let's go take a look at these ones up here. Unless my armor needs repaired. Here's another one up here. All right, get ready. And all right. Now, before I do this, before I do this, if I hit... And no, all right. Um, I was going to try something else. Let's put this away for a moment. And hey, little man, little man, little man, could you just chill right there for a moment? All right, and I'm gonna get a screenshot of him. Is what I wanted to. There we goes. Yes, we got it. Okay. All right, finally. Now, let's go turn this quest in. My goodness. <laughs> so the mole rats respawn, which means the robot is back over there for some more energy cells, but I'll worry about that at another date. Um, let's get inside here. Let's see what else is left. We got Mire Lurks that is left, and I kind of need a crazy, not crazy wolf gang. I need the other dude that deals with weapons and stuff like that. Um, this robot Thirsty don't ever shoot. Partner. Uh, let's, let's go. People med. We'll figure that out at another date. I do need that child at heart perk because there's a place What's in happening? this game that uh, is very, very funny. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, hello, Nathan. Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. <laughs> um, I tested the remote rat repellent extensively. Oh, excellent. Substantial field testing, precise reports, and such dedication. Oh, what more could I ask for in a research assistant? So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I'll bet. Why don't you walk outside and find out? Those poor little mole raddies. Oh, I wonder if I could make a hypoallergenic version. Oh, but that'd hardly be effective. I should mention that. Proper handling of mole rats could be important if they could be domesticated. Milked, maybe? Yeah. Oh, anyway, keep the repellent. Oh, but for your trouble, um, here, have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. All right, so she used jet, 
Psycho. Jet and Psycho. To me. <laughs> this last part is about Mirelurks, so I guess we're going to have to deal with this. Next. Yes, knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. Sneaking into a Mirelark lure. That pay had better be worth it. While you're working on that, I'll be following up on a lead I've got for a couple stealth boys. When you're done, they're yours. And who knows? Maybe we'll learn something useful from the Mirelurks. Um, I don't think we're going to do that next episode, I recommend guys. the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Mirelurks down there. Yeah, just we were go just inside there and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Mirelurks inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. Um, I think she's crazy. Um, yeah, I have to go. Now. Come back soon. So that we're going to do next episode, guys. I really don't want to do that. Let me see how much med X I have. Um, we might, we don't have any fixer. And we got seven. This is mentats. All right. So we got met damage resistance plus 25. I'm going to need some good armor. Um, yeah, let me see what I can find as far as armor in that goes, guys, because next episode we are going to need to be geared up, and I got some combat armor. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of, you know, a decent trader outside or somebody that can repair my combat armor that I just recently bought. Um, that would be inside of here. Um, let's see here. I got some combat armor that is right here a combat helmet because we're going to need these um, I got two pieces of leather armor in here so but these right here guys these right here is what we're going to need uh, we're gonna need to wear these so this right here is gonna have to go away this is gonna have to go away I need to figure out how to repair these and get them up and going and yeah that's gonna be fun and <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll be seeing you all next episode. And we're going to go play with some Mirelurks and hopefully we survive. See you later.